if when you turn the dryer on, the dryer starts running okay, but the drum doesn't seem like it's tumbling, let me show you how to check to see if the drum is tumbling or not. Open the door on the dryer. Push on the door switch actuator and hold it in. Then push on the push to start button. If the drum is not tumbling, most likely you have a broken belt or a belt that derailed from the idle pulley. Close the door on the dryer and let's see what's wrong with the belt. To check and see if the belt is broken, you need to open the top panel. To open the top panel, you need to remove the lint filter and the two holding screws. Go ahead and remove the lint filter. Then remove the two holding screws. Use a flat screwdriver like this to pry open the top panel. Then lean it against the wall. As you can see, the belt is broken or derailed from the idle pulley and you will need to replace it with a new one. Let me show you how to do it. Get a piece of a wire coat hanger about 11 inches long and bend the end like this. Turn the drum around until this hole aligns with these screws. Loosen this screw about halfway out. Hook the coat hanger wire to this hole, then bend it around the screw like this. Then tighten the screw so it holds the wire in place. I will show you in a little while why you should use the coat hanger like that. You could use a small flat screwdriver like this to disconnect the door switch wire harness. You will need to remove these two screws to remove the front panel. Go ahead and remove the two front panel holding screws. You should use gloves when working with the front panel because there's a lot of sharp edges and you could get a nasty cut. I'm not using any gloves because it's hard to work the camera with gloves, but you should use them to protect your hands, okay? Pull the front panel out to disengage it from the drum. You need to pull the front panel up to disengage it from the bottom holding clips. Lift the corners of the front panel to disengage it from the bottom holding clips and take it out. Remember the coat hanger wire? The coat hanger wire is used to hold the drum in place to make it easier for you to install the belt. Remove the broken belt and the idle pulley. Put the belt around the drum. The belt should be dangling like this. This is the correct way to install the belt. And this is the wrong way to install the belt. Align the belt on the mark left by the old belt. Put the idle pulley in place and hold it with the right hand. Put the belt on top of the roller with the groove facing up. Push the belt through the idle pulley with your finger like this. Grab the belt with your right hand and push the idle pulley towards the motor. Then wrap the belt around the motor pulley like this. That was the way to install the belt on the idle pulley. If your dryer is using an idle pulley like this, you should replace it with this one, the one with the roller. 
Make sure to hook the front panel to the front bottom clips when installing the front panel. Go ahead and install the front panel on the front bottom clips. Make sure that the plastic drum slides right on top of the felt. Secure the front panel with the two holding screws. Connect the door switch to the wire harness. Loosen the screw. And remove the wire. And retighten the screw. Turn the drum clockwise like this until the belt aligns and is nice and straight. Lower the top panel and then give it a push to engage the two holding clips. Screw in the two holding screws and install the lint filter. That was the way to check and fix a no tumbling dryer. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel so you could be notified every time I make a new video. Until next time, this is Angel the Appliance Man.